Spoiler warning, if you haven't watched the short film, Everything Will Kill You, RIP, we suggest you watch that before watching this behind the scenes as it will give away a lot of the story. Enjoy. Ah, uh, today we are shooting my first shark film. I can't believe it's taking this long. We're, it's called RIP and it's part of the Everything Will Kill You universe. Ah, uh, I am Paris. I am playing the role of Liv. I got told two days ago I was going to be in a shark film. <laughs> I am playing the character of Bella. And I just get to, to chill on the beach while my best friend swims. So I did have a minor surgery yesterday. Um, <laughs> but I am committed to my craft and happy to be here. And I just have to change the script a little bit. Just a little bit. Originally Amber was supposed to die by the shark as well, but now she just gets to chill on a beach. The best role I've ever played. <laughs> <laughs> when writing this, I was just like, what's the simplest way I can show off some shark effects? Because that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to actually test some ideas out. And that's pretty much what all the Everything Will Kill You series is about. It's about trying to push ourselves a little bit more as filmmakers in simple controlled shoots. But for a simple controlled shoot, I thought the ocean was a great place to take a stab at that, which made it way more difficult. Rip was shot over two half days, so we spent about four to five hours on the beach on the first day, just knocking out all the main components. And then we spent the second day, we spent about two hours in a recording studio because we wanted to record all the screams and the panic and the fear because we couldn't do that on a public beach without creating a panic. So that's something we wanted to do as responsibly as we could. On top of that, there's, we spent probably about another two, three hours uh, shooting green screen footage in my open face garage on a very rainy night. So this film was made for pretty much nothing. Don't get me wrong, Good Boy Media is an existing media company, so we have cameras and we have stuff like that. But even renting this film wouldn't have cost a whole heap. Uh, we ended up spending a total of about $700, and that was to pay the actors some money to buy stock footage and to get everyone lunch on the day. So we've shot on the Blackmagic 6K Pro, we shot on the DJI Air, just a simple drone, we shot on the Action 2, which I think I may have killed one of the parts of the camera because one part of it isn't waterproof, so this just became a more expensive shoot. And we also shot on the Insta360 camera, just as a test, so we'll see how that actually works. So I am a big believer that CGI sharks should be used at an absolute minimum because they take people out of the things so quickly. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of composition using real life shark footage and comping it into the existing footage that we have or vice versa. That way we can actually get like real interactions which feel scary and a lot more lifelike. With the shark effects it's uh, I think that's something that can get overcomplicated really easy and I don't like using stock footage as something as a filmmaker that you don't want to use other people's stuff you kind of want to have your own footage but because this is a short it's a test. I want to show what I can do if I have the pieces of the puzzle I need, not be 100% limited to what I can capture in front of me because as a short filmmaker, independent filmmaker, low budget filmmaker, that can be very limiting at times and I wanted this to have a bigger scope. But included in that, and this is the heartbreaking bit, all the four wheel driving stuff of the car is all stock footage too. It makes me laugh that the worst effects in this film, in my opinion, is the green screen of the car scene. Um, I think that still works, but it's uh, not as good as I would like it to be because it was raining and we didn't have all the materials we needed. <laughs> because we were on a public beach, uh, we didn't want to alarm anyone, so it was actually quite tricky to shoot a scary shark film where we didn't want to cause any sort of panic or make anyone feel awkward. So we did find a quiet beach. It was very shallow, clear water to keep it as safe as possible as well. But there were people walking past and things going on, so I had to paint a lot of people out of the background, and that was an absolute pain in the ass, but I think it adds a lot to the film to show how isolated these two characters really were. Speaking of bigger scope, I wanted some sort of pop music in this film, so I just went to Epidemic Sound and got a lot of pop songs off of that. I also got quite a bit of music off of Soundstripe as well. But the thing I liked the most is, I wanted a little nod to Jaws with the Show Me The Way To Go Home song. So that's in public domain, which is great, but that doesn't mean the recordings are in public domain, it just means the sheet music and the lyrics are. So I thought, well, my friend Luke's very good at playing guitar, so I got him to bust me out a melody, and my girlfriend Andrew is not a bad singer, so I got her to um, bust out the vocals for me. Show me the way to go home I'm tired and I want to go to bed I had a little drink about an hour ago And it's gone right to my head Hello, I'm Andrea, and I am the makeup artist for today's shoot. Got to make the prettiest girl alive look dead, but so that was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> she looks beautiful. And, and dead. I guess with water, it just makes stuff 
run off. So, but it wasn't really a concern because she had to look kind of disheveled anyway. So it all just kind of worked in the end. The environment mixed with the makeup just sort of came together. Tom is great. Tom trying to do sound on a beach is always a pain in the ass and I keep trying to drag him to beaches for these sort of shoots. So he, he is just one of those guys who just gets done what needs to be done and it's just appreciated so much. Uh, we're out shooting this little camera test, a little short film, focusing on sharks this time. Look, beaches are never fun. Uh, not only have we got the waves right there, and it's not too bad today, um, but we're close enough to Jandicot Airport and a few other things, so there's some stuff lying around, but it's been, it's been good. Sound design layers from the attack scene in our shark short film, Rip. To be honest, today could not have been more perfect in regards to the weather and the ocean. We picked a really shallow beach, which is great. It meant we could walk out for quite a while and there was, you know, no safety concerns. It was very clear and visible. I think Paris kind of got a little bit creeped out when the light went away because one, she was colder and two, she couldn't see the floor anymore, which, you know what, may have added to her performance. Woo! What have I had to do? Um, go in the water, swim around, pretend like I'm being attacked by a shark act very cold although it's not acting anymore <laughs> it's been really smooth everyone's worked well together i mean the shots have been pretty seamless so we've had beautiful sun to help us shoot has been incredibly smooth you're never sure uh, how things are going to go when you rock up whether the weather's going to stick around we've had a few clouds and they've been a bit dark and the cast has been absolutely incredible just so easy to work with and really quick at turning it on to get into such serious roles the cast have been so good considering they got like a week's notice and like i think paris got like two days notice and amber's pretty much like snapped her ankle completely off and came from surgery so she's been fantastic which is very helpful um no nah, they've been absolutely awesome and then Tom's been killing it on the sound, which, you know, it's never fun at the beach. And Andrea's just been doing the makeup, which has been getting washed away in the ocean. So that's been fantastic as well. This film was created because we're currently on the journey of getting our feature shark film up and running. I was a bit sad on this one because my uh, partner, Matt, he, he wasn't able to be on this one. He was over in Queensland, away from Perth, uh, trying to sell all of our stuff and make sure that people actually want to invest in our future projects. So sometimes just because people aren't on set, it doesn't mean they're not a big part of the project. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please subscribe and check out some of our other content while you're at it. Hopefully you'll enjoy that too. Cheers. Bark.